Hi friends! Hi friends! It's Miss Andrea from the Hickory Corner branch of the Mercer County Library System and today Bianca and I are really excited to bring you a fun activity that we did yesterday where we made some dinosaur eggs okay and so I'm just gonna show you the recipe really quick so you can get the materials that you need all right so here it is you need flour salt and some used coffee grounds so I saved mine over the last week or so right here and then you just need some water and optionally if you have some sand laying around you can put sand in them it'll just make it a little grittier when you break them apart and you can also add food coloring or paint if you wanted them to be a different color we just stuck with the natural like flour and um, coffee color that came out of the <clears throat> oven so we're gonna each break one open to show you what it looks like so you could crush it like that <sighs> Whoa, and look what's inside. Oh my goodness, it's a little baby dinosaur. Here, Bianca, do it over the plate here. Whoa, did you find a baby dinosaur inside yours too? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so awesome. Okay, and the other thing that we did was we took some of the dough that we made and we took some of her play dinosaurs and we stamped them in there to make footprint fossils. Oh. You wanna hold it? All right, yeah. So there we go. So we made some footprint fossils. So now we're gonna show you how we did this really cool activity. So we're gonna put these off to the side now and we're gonna move this off to the side and we're gonna put our bowl here. Okay, so we are going to start with one cup of flour. So let's get all of our ingredients here. Can you put the flour in? Yep, awesome. Can you put in the half a cup of salt? This is the half a cup of salt? It sure is. Now can you get me the coffee grounds? Okay, well, we have to measure them first, so let's open it up. Put that there. Okay, now we need to measure out one cup. So I'll measure it out, you put it in, okay? So one cup it of these. Weird. It smells like mommy's coffee, right? Do you like the smell of mommy's coffee? No. No. All right. Ooh, it's getting black. Though. Dump it in. Okay, now we're going to take our spoon, and I'm going to ask Bianca to mix for me gently so that the ingredients don't go flying all over the place. Okay, and so for the water part, you're going to want to add it slowly, okay, because you might not need all of the water depending on how wet your coffee grounds are. So that's great. So we're going to add it slowly. So you add it slowly while I stir. We don't need it all yet. Hold off, hold off, and we're going to stir it up. Okay, and we're gonna stir it up. It still seems a little bit dry. Can you add a little bit more water? Okay, stop. And we're gonna mix it up. Okay, and there's gonna be a point where you're not gonna be able to use a spoon anymore. You're really gonna wanna get in there with those hands. And I think we might be at that stage right now. So I'm going to take my hands and really get in there with it. Okay, that's great. So it's gonna be kind of like a homemade Play-Doh. It's sandy Play-Doh. It feels sandy, right? Okay, so you can take your hands and you can form them into a ball like that. Yeah. Okay, Bianca, back up for just one second because I want to show them how we used. I'm gonna wash my hands. Well, we're not done yet, so just hold off for one second, okay? It's itchy. It's itchy? Okay, go ahead and wash your hands. So I'm going to show them how you can take a baking tray like this, okay, and you're going to want to, you can scoop it out with an ice cream scoop if you have it. If you don't, you can just form it with your hands, okay, and you're going to flatten it out. And then we had these little baby dinosaurs laying around because Bianca is a huge fan of dinosaurs. We have a lot of dinosaur stuff in our house. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put that baby dinosaur inside and you're gonna form the dough around it and put it on a lined baking sheet. Okay, now you can put your um, oven on about 220 degrees and you can dry them out in the oven. You could let them just kind of dry naturally, but it would take days. So what we did yesterday is we put the oven at 220 degrees and we put the eggs in for about 20 or 30 minutes. Then we flip them over 
onto this side so that this side was also able to dry out. And then we did another 20 to 30 minutes and then we kind of let them sit out overnight to dry out even more so that when you broke them open, where's that baby dinosaur? There he is, he's inside. All right, so we're gonna put that off to the side. And Bianca wanted to show you some of her dinosaurs. Oh, she's gonna get them. Oh, thank you. I get to hold this one. Can you tell them the name of this dinosaur? Brachiosaurus. This is the Brachiosaurus. And which ones do you have? I have Spinosaurus and T-Rex. That's so exciting. So, like I said, we are big dinosaur fans in this house. So we have lots of dinosaur books and we like to visit natural history museums so we can see the dinosaur fossils and bones. Now, right now we cannot go to the museum, but one place that you can go is on the computer, the National Museum of Natural History, the Smithsonian, okay, it's in Washington, DC, and they have a virtual tour that you can take so you can see the dinosaur bones. Okay, and so I'm gonna put that down. Is there anything you would like to tell the kids about these dinosaurs? Okay. Well, these two I'm holding my here are carnivores. That means they eat fish and other animals. And this one's a plant eater. That's very exciting. So yeah, we have a... Uh, can I tell them more? You wanna tell them more? Sure, go ahead. So... T-Rex like to hunt. Spinosaurus lived in the water. You see on his back, he has this big bony frill on his back. And, and um, Brachiosaurus had a longer neck than, than a Patasaurus. And... Why do you think he had a long neck? To, to be able to do what? Eat leaves that were high up in the trees. That's right. So we have um, we have our dinosaur book here, and here is a page about T. Rex. Tyrannosaurus was the biggest meat-eating dinosaur that ever lived. He was about forty feet. Wow! And he lived in the late. Cretaceous period. So there were different time periods where these dinosaurs lived. All right, let's turn the page. I would normally wash my hands before I touched a book like this, but it's our book. It's not a library book, so I'll clean it off later. And here is the Brachiosaurus. It was one of the tallest long necked plant eaters, and it was about 72 feet long and 33 feet tall. That is so tall. And our last one is the Spinosaurus here. Spinosaurus was a huge meat-eating dinosaur. It mostly ate fish, like Bianca was telling us, and it was about 56 feet long and it lived in the early Cretaceous period. So those are just three of our favorite dinosaurs and I hope that you guys have a lot of fun making your own dinosaur eggs after watching this video. Bye friends! Can we do more?